Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you guys are doing well out there. In today's video I thought it'd be pretty fun to go over uh, one of the screening interview questions that I would typically ask a interview candidate if I were to hire a new iOS developer for a company. So today's question is what exactly is a view controller and why is it so important for us to use it inside of an iOS application? All right, so I have on my screen a couple of the important points that I do want to bring up today inside of this application here that I just recently built out. And the first thing I want to talk about is UI view controller is actually our root view component. And so basically for typical applications that aren't video games, you'll need to start building out your application with a UI view controller as the root view controller of your app. And so one important thing to note is that UI navigation, UI tab bar, table view, and UI collection view controller, all of these classes and components are subclasses of UI view controller. All right, so that's the first thing I wanted to bring up. And I wanted to illustrate these couple of points by opening up this brand new single view application here. And some of you guys that are perhaps more uh, used to using the storyboard, uh, the root view controller of the entire app is kind of uh, specified here by this arrow guy and you see it says storyboard entry point and the way you can kind of toggle it on and off is to go into the view controller go inside of this fourth tab over here click on this is initial view controller and if you try to run the app now it actually it does run it does not crash but it'll give you a warning about how you don't have a root view controller set up so I'm just going to run it and it says down here uh, the main view controller or perhaps the designated entry point is not set. So let's go ahead and set it and the arrow will come back. And so the important thing to note about this is that you can also drag in other controllers in here and just drag the arrow to whatever view controller you want to start, uh, start as your root view component. So if you start this, it'll give you a navigation bar and then a table view controller by default because that's what this guy is right here. Okay, so that is the storyboard which I rarely, rarely bring up on this channel. And I would like to illustrate a couple of other different points by showing you guys how to kind of set up all of this inside of code in our UI, or not UI, but app delegate class right here. So the way to make all of this work inside of code is to go into did finish launching with options and you just set the window yourself manually by creating it like that make it visible by make key invisible and then finally you have to specify the root view controller to be something so for example if i say vc equals ui view controller as an empty constructor you can just set that as your view controller and you can say color equals dot blue, perhaps. And if you run this, it'll actually override what's inside of your storyboard. And it'll set this VC as the main view controller for you. So if you don't have this guy, your application will crash. And that is the kind of main important reason for us to use UI view controller. You won't be able to start, uh, start your application if you didn't have one. Okay. So that's the first point that I wanted to bring up. And the second question that I usually ask a candidate is why don't we just use UI views if we, you know, if all we really wanted to do was to present UI labels and UI image views inside of our app, why do we even need a UI view controller? We can just simply use a UI view. And technically this is possible. So what I mean is if you're kind of constructing all of your views in code, you can create things like red view equals UI view. And you can use a frame constructor of the window dot frame or bounds. And then you can say window dot add sub view of this red view right here. It should build, but let's see. I would like to unwrap that guy and run the application. And you'll see the red view fill up the entire screen uh, above the blue view controller, or it should be, but that's not what we see because we don't have a background color for the red view. And that is a mistake that I often do make myself. So let's set the background color to something visible instead of the default 
uh, transparent background and here we get the red view controller or the red view in front of our blue view controller right here so like I was kind of mentioning earlier why don't we just use UI views if all we wanted to do was present stuff inside of our application like labels and image views. Well, technically it is uh, totally fine and you could do it if you wanted to set everything up like this. However, the downside is that every time you want to know about certain, uh, certain aspects of the device, for example, if you rotate it to the landscape orientation, you won't actually get the notification and you don't exactly know when that happened. Now, technically you can listen for those events, but UI view controller hooks up into the operating system and makes it super, super easy for you to handle things such as rotation. Okay, so I'm going to illustrate how that works by first making this red view a little bit smaller. So let's say a frame, I'll not use a frame, but this is a red view dot frame equals a CG rec perhaps. And let's use X, Y, 0, 0. 200 and 200 and run this guy. And so one more time, we'll get the red view to show up somewhere in the corner up here. And I'll try to rotate the app and you'll see that it kind of sticks to that side right there. And if you even put it to the center of the window, so red, let's see, red view dot center equals window. Let's see dot center, I think I want to unwrap it unsafely with the bang operator. And now the window is going to appear in the center. And what I really want to do is get the app to show up. I want to rotate the app and have this red view somewhere in the center whenever I rotate the application. Okay, so how do I do that efficiently is to use the view controller instead of the red view like this, this UI view component. And I am going to do this right here. So let me just copy all of that or perhaps cut that code out and then bring all of that code into some kind of view controller. So the thing about view controller is that you really need to subclass this as something. So if I just remove that and comment that out, the controller that we're going to see is this controller right here, which is view controller. And this is the view controller. So if I run this, we're not going to get that red view anymore. So what I want to do is to add that into this view controller here instead. And let's see, I'll just paste all that code here. Let's see, let red view equals, not equals, but be of some type of view and constructor like so. Let's just cut all that in there and then remove this center perhaps. Yeah, I think that's what we need. Return this red view guy, construct it or call all of this entire closure block with this parentheses here. Okay, so now what we can do is just say, you know, perhaps uh, view controllers view at sub view of this red view guy, and we will bring it into the top left corner again. And I can finally set the center with red view dot center equals view dot center, center like that. And then that'll bring it to the center. And then now I can kind of be in a better. A uh, better starting point for how to handle the rotation of the device. So rotation doesn't really do much. And so if I go inside a view controller, I can do what you would call handle a life cycle event. So what I mean is you can say will transition with some kind of thing. You can say print like did rotate device here. And you're now fully aware of when the device rotates and you can handle it however, or you can handle the action of rotation however you want inside of this line of code. So I'm gonna rotate and you get did rotate device and let's just rotate it back there. Okay, so if I rotate the app, I really wanna bring the square to the center. You can actually do that if you just say coordinator animate alongside transition. I believe this is what I want. So let's see what we get here, hit enter. You get the context, you can just underscore if you don't want it. You can say red view dot center equals view dot center and completion, you just use nil. Now, because this is a closure block here, you actually need self like that and self like that. And you will get your application to handle the rotation properly. Let me just get the app to fire here. And if you just do that, you'll see that it didn't really animate, but when you rotate the 
device, the red block stays in the center. So that's one of the major reasons why you would use a UI view controller over just plain old UI views like this. Okay, so next point I do want to bring up here is the primary advantage of using the UI view controller component is uh, because it provides much easier navigation for your users and also for you to maintain your code. So when we are talking about navigation, we're typically referring to something like a UI navigation controller. And this allows you to keep a stack of like view controllers on top of each other so that you can go from one to another, uh, one to another, and then go backwards as well. And there's also something called a UI tab bar controller, which looks like this right here. So instead of our Instagram course, we have UI tab bar controller and inside of this screen, we are actually seeing about three UI view controllers all together. And technically the UI tab bar controller is a view controller. And then we have a UI navigation controller that holds this inside of view controller that allows us to comment and uh, kind of progress from one navigational stack to another. So that's how that works. And let's see, what do I want to do here? Is basically, if you want to go to app delegate, you can specify something like UI navigation controller with the root view controller of the VC. And you'll get the blue view controller with a nav bar at the top because we now have a navigation controller as the root of the entire hierarchy of our window. Okay. So the last point I want to bring up here is that, let's see, bring me back to my screen here. Not that, but the career questions app. Let's just dismiss this and remove that. And uh, yeah, out of, out of the box specialized view controllers is basically all you will need to kind of build any type of application you want. So as you guys all are probably aware of by now, uh, most of the apps that I build uses UI view controller or UI collection view controller as the main kind of page for every one of my screens. And basically any page that requires some kind of scrollable list, uh, you can use either a UI table view controller or a UI collection view controller to build out this entire list of stuff. And uh, the reason why I often choose the latter, which is UI collection view controller, is because it comes with the horizontal scrolling for free and is also much more customizable. Now, one thing I do recommend is that if you are trying to build out a collection view or some kind of list, I do recommend that you use the UI collection view controller instead of using a UI view controller and then adding in a collection view yourself. And the reason is because you don't have to introduce things like data source and delegate because by default, it's all hooked up for you. And it saves you a lot of coding and a lot of, I guess, outlet coding as well inside of the interface builder. All right, so that's all I wanted to talk about for today. And hopefully you kind of found the explanation about UI view controller helpful. And, you know, maybe it makes more sense to you now why we are always using UI view controllers for pretty much every page inside of our iOS applications. And finally, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for more useful videos like this one. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.